What is up, YouTube? It is your boy NMR Sports here, coming back at you with another MLB The Show video. And today we've got a lot to talk about. We're going on a little bit of a field trip. As you can see, we're not playing MLB The Show right now. That is because what we're talking about today is online, on YouTube, on Twitter, all this stuff. But it is not on the game yet until tomorrow around 3 o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific time. I will be streaming when this program goes live. You probably already heard about it. We're talking about the Field of Dreams program. I think this thing is an absolutely massive massive dub we're gonna go over all the information today what we know so far a little bit of my predictions what i think's gonna come from this program and uh yeah just talk all about what's gonna what you're gonna find in this program i think it's gonna be one of the biggest programs of the year i'm very excited for it as well as the new stadium that they're coming out with is really cool they haven't really done stadium updates in the past so i think that's gonna be a really cool thing i would also like them to do some jersey updates that'd be kind of cool so maybe they'll have that in the program we'll go over all these different things if you guys haven't already hit that sub button we just hit 900 subscribers i guess it's technically over here but yeah 900 subscribers thank you guys so much we are so close to a thousand subscribers which is our goal for the end of the year so i'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that sub button leave a like on this video and let me know your predictions for this program tomorrow let's get into it and start talking about uh what kind of things we're going to be finding in this program so as you all probably heard about already 99 roberto clemente is the collection award i'm going to move myself over here real quick uh, just so I don't block his card art, as you can see. So 99 Roberto Clemente is going to be absolutely cracked. One of the cards we've been looking for all year. Uh, 99 Clemente and 99 Hank Aaron. So we finally get one of those big boys. I'm very excited for him. He's going to be in the player program. So if you're looking for him tomorrow... Let me move my camera again. If you're looking for him tomorrow, he is going to be in the player programs section. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on that on my stream tomorrow. But player programs, that's where you're going to find this. Once you go into the player programs, there's a lot of stuff to earn from this. Obviously, you're going to get the field of dreams for just doing anything. There's going to be missions. It looks like moments. Hopefully, there'll be exchanges, maybe collections. That'll help you get to the end of the program. But as you can see already, we got the stadium. You got a nice little profile icon. It's a, it looks like a can of corn, I think it is. You got Chicago White Sox home and the New York Yankees road. Those are the uniforms they're going to be using in the um, in the game. Then as you get a little bit further, we got the corn nameplate. For those of you who like corn, maybe you're from Nebraska. I'm pretty sure that's all Nebraska has. I don't know why I'm taking shots at Nebraska. But anyways, Legend Bat Skins. This will probably be something pretty cool, kind of similar to the Legend Icons that we've gotten before. So expect a lot of the 42 Series Legends to be in there. We got Tom Hankey is going to be our first uh diamond card that we're going to get from this he's a 95 overall he's also a prime card i know a lot of people are having trouble with the prime voucher for mookie bets so this is a completely free prime 95 overall card he's also a bullpen arm so he's probably going to be very useful for some of you guys in your bullpens he usually has pretty good cards last year he had a face of the franchise card and it was pretty damn good so i would recommend uh maybe even giving him a shot in your bullpen and as you go a little bit further you're gonna get three show packs it looks like you're gonna get a ball in pack i think that said 20 2500 stubs a 42 series pack which is going to be very helpful if you don't have jackie robinson for the mookie bets and mariano rivera collections you're also going to get this field of dreams pack i'm sorry i skipped one you're going to get 99 overall brooks robinson and brooks robinson i feel like i've never had a usable brooks robinson card but still going to be a pretty good option it'll probably have really good defense because it's a gold glove card and they've actually been juicing the offensive stats of these gold gloves recently as well i don't think he's going to be making my roster that's for sure but if you're using an all-time team so if you're doing an all-time orioles team there you go all-time orioles you finally have a good card to use field of dreams pack this is the main thing i want to talk about today these are going to be my predictions i'm very curious what's going to happen we already got a sneak peek at some of the cards that we might be getting from this program uh so let's go over those in a second but first the end of this we're gonna get five show packs i believe this is probably two ball in his habit packs three ball in his habit packs 99 perfect game felix hernandez and then of course signature series roberto clemente both cards that are going to be very useful in finishing those mookie bets collections i know milestone is almost impossible and signature is very difficult as well so uh definitely do this program even if you don't want to use these cards they're going to be helpful for you getting towards mookie bets and if they do another collection later in the year that'll be another um they'll be useful for that collection as well so i assume getting to 100 points is going to be fairly easy kind of like the ronald acuna program you'll probably have to do a collection you might have to collect some of these field of dreams cards so 
Uh, if we want to go into my predictions for what we're going to see in this Field of Dreams pack, it has a base and a rare round is what it's looking like. So a 1 in 10 chance of getting that rare round. And we did see some cards earlier in the day. If we head over to my Instagram real quick. So they already showed us two of the cards we're going to be probably getting in this Field of Dreams pack. All right, so I just finished recording this entire video and I was literally about to post it when I went on Twitter to look for a thumbnail and I found this. I, it didn't load on my screen, so I'm really pissed. Now I got to re-record re half this video. Anyways, this is the info I was looking for on the program. It looks like there's going to be a showdown that you have to do that's going to get you some points towards the Field of Dreams program. So if you're bad at showdown, get ready. It's going to suck. I can guarantee you that. Uh, stadium locked event. So that is where that Lucas Giolito and DJ LeMay you were going to come from. Not the choice pack like I had initially thought. So it's going to be in the event. They're going to be event rewards. So I probably won't be grinding for the event personally. Uh, probably not. I really can't see a reason I would want either one of those cards. There's a conquest that you have to do as well. That'll get you some. Hopefully there's some good hidden packs. And I assume probably for finishing all of these different things, you're going to be able to get some of those um sorry field of dreams choice packs and it already says right there choice pack eight legends and flashbacks arrive in new choice pack this is going to be an insane choice pack we're gonna get eight new cards i assume i want to say five of them are going to be in the base round and three of them in the rare round or maybe it'll just be four and four we'll have to see but one thing's for sure those cards are going to be insane count on it especially the rare round i assume those cards are going to be absolutely ridiculous we're also getting a player program on the 13th you can unlock a signature series legend signature series of course being one of the hardest ones to do but we're getting a lot of new signature series cards so if you're getting vladimir guerrero from the fifth inning boss if you're getting justin turner from the daily moments program if you're getting andrew mccutcheon from the daily moments program all those cards are going to come in really handy so uh yeah so this is what the player what the field of dreams program is going to look like i'm definitely most excited for the choice pack it's definitely taste to so definitely stay tuned on my Instagram and my Twitter. I'll be posting updates about this choice pack. I assume they're going to be releasing the cards one by one tomorrow, giving us kind of teaser hints at what this is going to be. We'll probably be grinding the Conquest and the Showdown during the stream tomorrow while we watch the Field of Dreams game. And uh, I don't know about that event. I'm, I'll, I'll have to see. If they give you something good for that event, maybe they'll give you some Field of Dreams packs. Then I'll definitely grind that event out because I have nothing better to do. Ranked scares me. I almost cried tonight because of how, bad, how good everybody is in rank season so uh anyways this is all the info that we needed the uh, program tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane i hope you guys are as excited as i am let me know your predictions for that choice pack down in the description below i'd also like to go over the new 99 overall world series rewards and mlb the show these cards are ridiculous Francisco Lindor is a huge W. If you think he's an L, you're just wrong and ignorant. 103, 115 contact with almost 100 plus power to both sides. He's going to be insane. And at parallel five, he's almost going to have 80 speed to go along with that diamond defense. I'm going to be using him at second base across from, um, actually, maybe I'll put him at shortstop. He has a little bit better arm strength than Trey Turner does. So him and Trey Turner are going to be locking down the middle of my infield right now. And then this 99 Verlander, this is better than any Verlander card we've had in the past. He's got a four seam 12 six circle change slider but he also has a cutter so that's going to be very very useful for us he also has outlier on his fastball as you can see down there so i think this card's an absolute w he's probably going to make my rotation if i can ever afford him and then uh lindor like i said 100 chance he stays in the middle of my infield so let me know who you guys would pick if you do end up making world series we also got some new pennant race rewards as well to go over we got orlando hernandez who is um he was in the game last year. I never liked him personally, but I know people who did. He's got a good pitch mix. He just doesn't throw very hard, so it makes him very hittable. And then this is awards Roberto Perez, apparently. It's a gold glove card, I think, which is why he has 99 everything. He only has five speeds, so that's pretty funny. Uh, and his power stats are pretty damn good for this card. Just the contact's a little low. Definitely usable for an all-time Indians or Guardians team for you. No secondary position or anything, so maybe a clutch bat in DR as well. So very good cards released today. I'm extremely excited. Let me know what you guys are most excited for that new program tomorrow. I'm assuming it's 99 Clemente, but I'm probably sure Mariners fans are really excited for that. Felix Hernandez as well. We haven't had a 99 Felix Hernandez in the last few years, so...
I'm very excited to try him out. See if I like him. If I don't, uh, we'll see. It can always be a nice collection um, to put into that milestone collection for that voucher, like I said earlier. Now, thanks again for watching, guys. If you do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it with a friend to help me uh, reach 1,000